I discovered an article about a UAE nursery that produces 150 to 200 tons of organic fertilizer per month and have a few points to discuss. The owner of this operation is allegedly a self-taught farmer called Umayt al-Zabi. Some years ago, he was searching for the perfect fertilizer for his fields and ended up making his own formula, which he now manufactures en masse. Now, this guy makes compost. But the article portrayed all organic stuff to be better than anything synthetic. At least that was the undertone. And I'm not sure if the lady who wrote the article knows what she's talking about, since she wrote chemical alternatives instead of mineral fertilizers, which is a stark difference for nitpickers like me. Anyway, if you remember the university project I did on pathogen detection and identification using hyperspectral imaging and AI, my friend had a different topic. He worked on the use of trichodermamate alkaloids as pesticides. Quick explanation, trichoderma is a fungi that produces a lot of different substances that you can use to help your plants. In his presentation, my friend said that switching to these substances would decrease the usage of synthetic plant protection solutions. Solutions. To which a professor from the audience replied, What good does it do to replace 1 kilogram of a synthetic solution with 10 kilograms of an organic one? Well, maybe that wasn't the German accent he uses, but that's how I portray it. Anyway, he had a point. Organic products often have lower efficiency than synthetic ones. Subsequently, the farmer would need to increase the amount of product he uses per acre. But drowning the field in a 10 times higher volume of something just because it's organic is a questionable trade-off. I mean, there is always a possibility for it to work. Though in this case, it isn't as simple. The main problem that people have with the synthetic stuff is that it harms not only the pests, but the whole ecosystem too. So, if the 10 kilograms of organic stuff was at least targeted like a laser and harmed exclusively the pests, it might make Makes sense. But the products, whether synthetic or organic, simply affect whatever they come into contact with. And I wouldn't have a clue how you engineer it to kill all the potato beetles and not a single honeybee. Simply doesn't work that way, in my opinion. Also, if somebody made a 100% targeted, 0% side effect, perfect synthetic pesticide, I would stake it over any other organic thing on the market. By the way, pardon me for mixing fertilizers and pesticides throughout the video. As you've seen, I wanted to make an overarching point that encompasses everything you put on a field. So a quality compost is a good thing, by all means. But using many times the amount of an inefficient organic product, instead of some vetted not that harmful synthetic one doesn't make sense to me. What do you think? Let me know and thanks for watching.